Hello. It's been a while. I kind of have a cold right now. I've been sneezing and had a runny nose and my voice kind of sounds funny. Um, but I just thought I'd make a video um, talking about the last season of Ultron. Um, so there's a lot of things, like a lot of people who absolutely hated it and just thought it was trash and didn't like it and I honestly thought it was a pretty good season but I do agree that there were some things that just weren't very good and I'm going to talk about that um so there's the shipping stuff so there's you know the clants you know you know lords you know all the different ships so, I mean, as I kind of figured that they were hinting at it, you know, later in Season 7, I mean, they hinted at it that, oh, you know, Lura and Lance are going to be together, and I kind of figured that would happen. But honestly, it's just, I, I, I don't really hate the ship. I just, I don't think that, I don't think it was really good at all, because, I mean... Lance, like, he had a crust on her from the beginning, and she had no feelings whatsoever to him, and then, you know, she had her fallout with Lotor, and so she was feeling vulnerable, and it's basically like, oh, she's, she's, she's just using Lance as a rebound, you know, that she, he's not, she's, he's not her first choice, he's just a rebound, and, like, Honestly, really, that's what they give Lance. And he... I just... And then, in the end, you know, when Alora sacrificed herself, and... And then she gave him the Altaid markings, which, I don't even understand that. Like, why did they have to do that? Like, I just... I, I just... I can't. That just, it, w it was really dumb, and like, oh, like, and so Lance just basically had no one else, like, that was his, like, oh, I, oh, like, you always remember me, like, oh, you can't ever, it's just like, oh, he can't, you know, be happy with somebody else, like, oh, wow, that's really nice, so... Yeah, there's a lot of people frustrated about that, and I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's a little frustrating. Like that, I mean, and then w like, what was the point of them having the? So they had you know that art, and they drew, they drew Keith and Hunk with race, and then they drew Pidge and Allure with gender, and then they had Shiro and Lance holding the LGBT sign. Now we we did get now Shiro was confirmed gay. So he he was part of the community. Um, why did they have to have Lance holding that sign if if it, they weren't going to show it in the show? Like, what was the point? Uh, I I understand why a lot of LGBT people are frustrated about that because, I mean, why bother showing that sign if you're not going to include it in the show and in, in the writing? I mean, they did nothing with that. And then not to even mention with Zero, you know, because they actually did confirm him gay. You know, they killed off Adam, and then he just, oh, he 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 gets married to some random random guy at the end of the show. Yeah, that oh that'll give, oh, that'll be good for the LGBT. Oh, give him mar let him marry to some random guy who's been, hasn't even been, you know, central to the plot of the show. And just, I was just like, really? That's the best you can do? It was just, that was so disappointing. Now, honestly, what disappointed me more than anything was the whole Lotor Hanerva thing. Like, I, Lotor is probably my favorite character in the show. Like, he was such a complex character. And, like, he just, he was a difficult character to read, but, like, I just loved his character, and I enjoyed his character, and, you know, 
as what we saw in season eight, you know, through her nervous flashbacks, um, he had a very, very sad childhood. Um, he was born to Hanerva and Zarkon, um, but then after Zarkon and Hanerva, you know, got overexposed to the contestants, basically, you know, Zarkon kind of, he just turned into a cruel, ruthless leader, and he just, he didn't care for his son at all, like, he's like, oh, you're my son, but, you know, I don't really love you that much, like, that's basically how it came across, like, Lotor, he continuously tried to, like, win his father's affection, and he tried to make him proud, and he just, he couldn't. Zarkon just, he, like, didn't even like him because he had Altaian blood, and it was just, it, it was so sad. It really hurt me watching that, like, and but, like, and then seeing baby Lotor, like, young Lotor, he was so adorable, like, he just, uh, he just, I think Lotor deserved better, and, like, I, I, I really didn't expect that they were gonna kill him off, like, I thought, I thought, you know, because they left it all at suspense, like, and they're like, oh, what if Lotor's still alive, and blah, 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 and, you know, because nobody knew what happened after that fight, you know, at the end of season six, and come to find out, you know, how nervous he found, you know, his mech ship, and, and he was dead, and I was just like, oh my gosh, he deserves so much better, like, and like, you know, we saw, we actually saw that, they showed that scene, you know, in the past where, um, he was <laughs> trying to accomplish something, he was like, working with, you know, his subject, and trying to, you know, make, have a better solution, and basically Zarkon's like, no, you, you can't, do this with your subjects, you need to destroy, like, you know, Zarkon was just being a cruel person, and then, you know, Lotor was like, no, I don't want to do that, you know, I don't want to destroy this place, and then he, they, they destroyed the place and made Lotor watch, and then they banished him into exile, and I'm just like, oh. Lothar just had such a sad life, and then, and then, you know, Hanerva, you know, she started to, she, you know, realized that Lothar was her son with her memories in season five, and her, and she's, you know, her attitude towards him changed, and, you know, she wanted to try to make things right, and she wanted, she just wanted him to accept her as his mother, and he wouldn't, and it's like, you know, they they were so terrible to him when he was growing up, so I can't really blame him for, you know, rejecting them and, like, and not hating them so much. I mean, he killed his own father. Um, but, like, and then by the time she cares, it's, it's too late, and, you know, he's already dead, and, you know, then she wants to get, you know, vengeance, and she goes to Altaians, and... She basically wants vengeance, and then she, and then she, you know, combines her, she makes her own, like, ship thing, combines it with Lotors, and she goes to realities, destroying the realities, because she wants to find a reality where she can be with Lotor and Zarkon and, you know, be happy. And then she finally finds it, and basically the young Lotor is like, you're not the hunter of, a, of my reality, like, you're not. And he rejected her, and so then she kind of just went crazy, and she's like, well, if I can't be happy or have any happiness, then I'm going to destroy everything else, and no one else can have happiness. And it's just so sad. It was just so tragic with Hunter and Lotor. Like, it, it truly was so sad. Like, and then in the very end, you know, they finally got through to her, and, and Laura's like, you know telling her, you know, showing her the, you know, her memories, and, you know, and, and then Hunter sees that, you know, they were trying to help Lotor, and, and then, um, and ultimately then, you know, Allura and Hunter, they, you know, sacrifice themselves, and, you know, it shows, like, the spirits of the old paladins, you know, Allura's dad, and then, you know, Sarkon and Lotor, and, you know, Hunter and Allura go, and, be with them and sacrifice themselves, and 
it's just like, I don't, I don't know, like, and then, you know, after that, like, it's just, you know, Lance had, he was on the farm, like on some, and they had like a new Altea, so because of her sacrifice, they had like a new Altea, and basically like, oh, well, everything around him is reminding him of her, and I just, I found that so annoying, like, Lance can't find someone else and be happy, like, really? Which I already kind of talked about that, I was just, I don't understand, like, I just, no, it's like, you know, it's the writer's show and they can do what they want, but, I mean, there was just a lot of you know, things that I didn't care for, I mean, there were, were a lot of things that I did like, like, it, I overall feel like it was a pretty good season, but, um, just, they forced the Lawrence, and they didn't really have really any connection, really, at all, and Allura, like, pretty much ignored him, like, most of the show, and then, oh, no, because, oh, she doesn't have Lotor, and her falling out with Lotor, oh, she's, you know, finally reciprocating Lance's feelings, and it's like, it just, it sends a bad message, like, Lance, I I feel like they should have had Lance move on from Allura, like, yeah, I really liked her, but, you know, it's not, it's not gonna work out, and, you know, have him find somebody else, but no, they, they couldn't do that, even though, clearly, him and Keith had a lot of, you know, really good moments throughout this whole series, like, Honestly, it was just disappointing. But, like, I mean, I did like that reference to the old Voltron in the very first episode, and the Pidge, you know, dressed up as the original Pidge. Like, that that was pretty interesting. Um, and then it was, really, it was really interesting seeing, you know, Basically, in the second episode, it kind of showed, you know, Honora's past, and then it showed, like, what she was doing, I guess, in season seven when we didn't see her, and, um, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I, I know I've, I've mainly done a lot of negative criticism, but I overall did enjoy the season, but I just feel like there was a lot of things that could have been done differently and could have been done better. And I know a lot of people agree with me on that. Um, but yeah, I just... I, I feel like Lance and Lotor and... I just feel like Lance and Lotor deserve so much better than what they got in the show. Like, they didn't get what they deserve. They didn't get what they should have. And it's just really sad. But... I've been rambling on about this too long. It's already been 13 minutes. But yeah, that's just my my take on Voltron Season 8, the last season. Bye.